All right, it's a beautiful morning from Adabai 8.9 FM. We say thank you very much for joining us again on a fresh edition of the Public Square. Here we discuss topical issues from the standpoint of the people. Obviously and apparently across Nigeria now, uh, we've had a lot of political developments. A lot of shockers ahead of 2023 election, a lot of... Um, uh, stories that Nigerians never envisaged have been, you know, making the rounds in the media, especially because um, the two major political platforms in Nigeria, that's uh, the People's Democratic Party and the All Progressives Congress, which is the party at the center, uh, in a matter of days would uh, go to their primaries and um, decide who eventually becomes the flag, flag bearer of both parties at the presidential level and um, which is one of the most crucial in uh you know the general election yesterday nigerians woke up or probably it was it wasn't in the morning that we heard that news it was later in the day that it broke um a former pdp as parents and one of the front runners actually in the pdp and a former governor of anambra state mr pitalbi announced his resignation from the P PDP and it also withdrew from the presidential race as well. Uh, this got a lot of people talking. It got a lot of people um, unawares, caught someone like me unawares because I never saw that coming. And uh, a lot of other political developments uh, during the week. There was the issue of Okorocha versus the EFCC. And um, Ike Kuremado also announced his resignation from the PDP as well. And remember that on Sunday, uh, the APC would be going to its primaries. Primary election will be held to decide uh, the presidential uh, candidate of the party. Okay, so today we'll just be touching on all of these issues, a lot, a lot of them to uh, really highlight now. But first, let me introduce my studio guest. I have uh, Zadok Akintoye. He is a member of the PDP. Thank you very much for being a part of the show. It's always a pleasure to be here. It's Good been morning. a while. How have you been? Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to tackle Nigeria. Yeah, Nigeria, yeah, <laughs> we, we understand perfectly. And we also have uh, barrister Femi Omoshua. Good morning, Nigerians. He is a member of the APC. Good morning, uh, Nigerians. Yes, a lot to talk about. But first, let's um, start with the most recent of these um, issues. And that's the resignation of Peter Obi from PDP. Uh, I'll start with the Zadok. But before I get down to that, my name is Olabisi Olani Yolua Shegun, you regular anchor on the show. So now, what what was your first reaction to Peter Abi's resignation from PDP, uh, Zadok? Uh, it, for me, it was a shocker because I wasn't expecting him to. But um, after the first, the initial shock, I began to think about what could be the reason for him uh, deciding to leave the PDP at this time. And uh, I can only you know, uh, assume I can't make any uh, clear comment as mm. to why, because he has not yet, apart from the letter he wrote, he yes. not yet seen any other specific reason for him leaving. But one of the things I picked from it is that probably um, he has seen indication that the party may likely feel a particular type of um, of a candidate, or maybe. Um, if you look back at some of the things that have transpired during the course of our uh, primaries, you might see uh, reasons why he may not have the where without the resources to push ahead in his aspiration to govern Nigeria. Mm. And so uh, it's quite unfortunate because he's one of our very respected members of the PDP, somebody who... Almost blameless. Uh, almost blameless, mm. almost, yes. Thank you for saying almost, because mm. there's nobody that is perfect. Yeah. Uh, is one of the icons that people have seen that have clear evidence of having performed well in governance mm. when he was the um, governor of his their state. And so it's, it's for me, it's not something that I would, as a PDP member, be happy about, but... Let's see how we move on. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, so uh, until we hear from the uh, the horse's mouth regarding what his next move would be, a lot of speculations out there as to whether or not he's um, finally or permanently withdrawing from the race or is going to, you know, uh, push 
further is aspiration on another platform we do not know that yet but we're uh, still on the lookout i know you're not of that fold um yeah. barrister Moshua, you're yeah. in the apc but yeah. of course you know that um at this time it doesn't really matter what political platform yeah. you belong uh what matters is the the project nigeria yeah. how would you react to obi's resignation and um what would you have fingered to have been the cause for that yeah i i think uh, zadok nailed it uh, uh, on the head i i want to believe um, uh he might be seeing what many people are not seeing and uh, with the local uh, primaries that we did here even around us here uh, nigeria is uh, really drifting towards uh, uh let me say uh commercial politicking permit me to use that language everything that we are doing now as far as politics is concerned whoever that has good image will want to run away from from such a uh tag as in what we saw here during the primary we have only seen pdp we don't even know what is going to come out in apc and uh, i want to believe the man is beginning to see that he, uh, he may not get what he wanted in pdp maybe i don't know if he has even gone to another party but i knew he formally there are speculations resigned. that um he is speaking is in talks the way that the sdp and the N nnpp we don't know how true I, that even is, another one said he, he has gone to maybe he's going to labor, labor party or yeah but I, I, I still want to believe this is politics uh it is quite unfortunate that we are not doing it the way it's supposed to be done but uh the yorubas will say uh no matter how big the head of a child is the father must sew a cap for the child the cap may not feed the child but they must sew a cap that will size the head and uh, the implication of it is that what we are actually looking for as far as democracy is concerned we may not get it at the end of the day now let, let's let's talk about democracy in nigeria a lot of um um people believe that especially the elites that some of these back and forth situations that we have within the polity is because the country's democracy is not is not mature enough for um the kind of politics that we play i and i begin to wonder what kind of maturity we need in nigeria before we can you know be ground grounded in democracy look i have had reasons to dis discuss this particular issue of democracy severally i delivered the lecture just a few days ago at the methodist church in benin on this same issue there is a lot of ignorance about democracy that pervades our society mm. People assume that democracy promises something or that democracy automatically means good governance or that democracy means that the people will actually be the ones in charge. Not really. Democracy does not promise anything. Democracy simply says, it simply explains that the administration of any society or any environment at any point in time will be as determined by the people who must choose those who will um, represent or administer their society. It doesn't say that the society will be good once democracy is there. Now, with, with, no. with, with what we because, have, with what yeah. we have on the the cards we have on the table. Yeah. He mentioned um, commercialization, commercialization yeah, of, of the I, process. Yeah. Do you really think that, that the, the people matter? That is democracy. The people do matter. Let me tell you, I am a, an active participant in the electoral process. I was the one that conducted the um, primaries to select um, the representative of the party in Odigbuere, the uh, Leoluji federal constituency. So I am an active participant in it. I will tell you that this is democracy. This is valid democracy because the democracy in any society is determined by the people. If the people are immoral, if the people are unjust, if the people are unkind, if the people are thieves, the democracy they create from their thieving would be a thieving democracy. Yeah. So what you see, what we keep complaining about, let me give you an instance. It's a matter of give and take. This is who we are. Mm. We are an unjust set of people. We are largely hypocritical. People complain about good governance. The same person complaining about lack of good governance is still the same person subverting the system at the very base. And I give you an example. I've written about it. This is something I'm passionate about. The delegate system. The leader said that ah, uh, the, this process is very expensive. 
But when the leaders are choosing those who will be delegates of the party, they ensure deliberately that they don't choose people who are economically independent, people who are intellectually intellectually independent, people who have a high status in society that can make independent informed decisions. They don't choose them. They make sure that they choose from within the party, validly so, those that can be instructed to take actions. And so, the people that are going to you know, select those who are going to lead the rest of us. Mm. Ensure that you cannot win election. You cannot be selected to represent any political party. Neither the PDP, nor the APC, nor the SDP, nor any political party in Nigeria, if you don't spend money. The same people telling you that, ah, we have not been given roads, we have not been given electricity. This is still the same people that ensure that it is the highest bidder that will win elections. I'm not saying necessarily that it's the highest bidders that won the elections, but the way the system is created, you can, you and I can, I can't contest an election in Nigeria. I can only complain, but it's a valid democracy. That democracy should not expect the outcomes to be better for the people. Because in any environment where there is no willing subjection to the rule of law, nobody sub submits himself to the law in Nigeria. There's no willing desire for social justice. Everybody only complains about social injustices when they are on the receiving end. If you are part of the people that are stealing, you are not going to complain. If we don't have a firm implementation of a policing system that ensures that anybody that does wrong is punished for their wrong, if we don't promote people who can, in the short term, make informed, intelligent decisions as to who will rule, who can set the template of the qualification for those who will lead the rest of us? We are going to be in peril. And the, that's the, the, the PDP, and valid democracy. The, the PDP, which happens to be your party, has been yes. indicted logically yeah. in the letter written by Mr. Peter Obi. I'm going to read out that letter very soon. But um, in the interim, uh, there's this saying that the people deserve the kind of leaders that they get. That's if that's. Uh, uh, that's my coinage. I don't get. I, I don't think I got that verbatim. But don't you think that this issue of getting the leaders, like you rightly uh, pointed out, the, the kind of leaders that we we need, not deserve now, the kind of leaders that the country needs to take it to reposition you know, the the economy and everything, is going to be really difficult. Because as we speak, there have been speculations in. Uh, uh, recent days about some someone not mentioning names because we, we, we do not have evidence of that but these are speculations that somebody paid two million naira uh, per delegates and mm -hmm. at the end of the day he got only two votes mm -hmm. and um, he had to recoup his money and all of those things i mean that that is continually becoming the trend mm -hmm. in the political arena now now let's get back to peter b social media folks I am, I'm, I'm very well aware that these are not the uh, major electorates. Most of them do not vote, but they have an idea of what the Nigerian entity needs at this moment. And I think that Peter Obi has some of these qualities. They really love him on social media. They think that PDP would have done well if the party fielded him. And... Um, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm telling you. The minds yeah, of social media. Yeah, I, I'm yeah, not on Twitter, and yeah. I would have read yeah. out some of their comments. I, I, I and this, an this, yeah, these are space. active Nigerians yeah. who understand. They are young people yeah. who understands uh, understand um, the predicament of the Nigerian nation. Now, listen to Peter Obi in his letter: resignation from People's Democratic Party (PDP) and withdrawal from the presidential contest. I'm writing to intimate you of my resignation to this is re, um, addressed to the national chairman of your party mr um what's his name now i I am. I am. No, no, no. I am your child. Yes. So he said, I'm writing to intimate you of my resignation from the People's Democratic Party, which was conveyed to the chairman of Agulu Ward 2, Anna Chalu Government Area in Anambra State, effective Friday, 20th May 2022. Consequently, I am by this letter informing you of my withdrawal from the PDP presidential primaries. Now, it has been a great honor to contribute to nation building efforts through our party. But unfortunately, recent developments within our party make it practically impossible it to continue to continue to continue participating and making such constructive contributions. I'm going on. Our national challenges are deep seated and require that we each make profound sacrifices towards rescuing a country. My commitment to rescue Nigeria remains firm. 
even if the route differs i mean this says a lot it speaks volumes and now people are beginning to speculate that elections and primary elections do not always have to be about dollars where is that speculation do you have what, an idea what, what, what that he has said does not in any way indicate that the party has done anything wrong what he has only said is that from his perspective he sees that the actions in the party may not be the best for him as an individual in, an asp in his aspiration. And I give an instance. Um, we've just conducted primaries to elect representatives. The primaries were conducted largely because of the lack of signing of the electoral law. The part political party has to be safe. And the safest is to allow the adult delegates to participate because they automatically qualify whichever way the, the position of the electoral law goes. Swings. And so, we have, for the issues of safety, allowed only the adult delegates to participate in the election. And they have validly elected because they are representatives of the individual wards. And the political party's smallest unit is at the ward level. And so they have done that and they have picked their representatives. There's, the process has been largely free. The process fair. has been largely fair. And I would explain why I said fair. We can't talk about justice in a process like this because everybody that participated was allowed access to the delegates, was allowed access to campaign. Equal access. Everybody was given the same platform. Obviously, if we are fighting, the person with the higher strength will win. And it's a valid democracy. There are no, I keep saying, those who seek to misinterpret democracy by bringing their personal morals into the space are the ones that are in hero. Democracy does not say that it's a moral system of government. It doesn't say it's a just I, I, system. I, I, I disagree. Let, 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 let me complete it. Okay. The re, democracy itself does not say it's moral. Mm. It doesn't promise that. The morality of a democracy is dependent on the morality of the participants. The participants that would not vote for you if you don't give money cannot in all honesty come back and complain there is nobody and i say it again and this is in in um, appeal to the electorate and to the delegates who are the foundation upon which a good democracy will be built if they are moral that we can't continue like this in situations where even if a man is jesus christ he will not be voted for based on the miracles based on the food he's feeding the people, he will be voted for based only on how much he puts on the table on the day of the election. Is that, is that now the that culture? That is what I said. Should we now accept that as the we, culture? Nobody says we should accept it. What we are saying is that when we complain about our democracy, it is what we contribute into it that has made the democracy the way the democracy they practice in the US, where we constantly use as an example, is the same democracy they practice in the Okay, Nigeria. now asking a more pointed question. Did anyone approach you with any money during the You know, for me as an anything? individual, I'm not a delegate. But in all the political parties I've participated, I've never been allowed to be a delegate because I'm a very independent minded person. Okay, that answers you can't, you can't pay me to vote. Once I pick you, BC, as my candidate, everybody knows that you can't sway Zadok. It's not about money. Once he picks this person, that's the person he's going to stay with. Okay. So now, um, we've been talking about the PDP, right? You you try to interject the other time. Is there, is there anything you want to say before we go ahead to other things? I, I think, uh, in a way, the fundamentals have been established by Zadok. But I think we we are still missing out in the sense that if we say it is a norm of what importance is it that pdp is now challenging apc that they are not doing it right so if it is the norm there is no need for pdp this is not, to even, I, I this is not even about a this political is, yeah, party a political uh, no, it is no, a general problem, the, the, general the, problem the, the, that we need to stem the tide how do we do it yes People who are coming, the opposition should do it better. How? Because the way things are now, we are saying it is uh, if somebody does not bring money, nobody will vote for him. I want to believe the generality. Even if the person is eminently qualified. Eminently qualified. I want to believe that is not 
the intention or that is not the intention of the generality of Nigerians. Mm -hmm. There are still some people. Of course. There are still some people in of this course. country. You have mentioned yourself now. Yes. And to a large extent, I believe yes. that is what you are. Yes. But when we have some numbers among us like that that will say no, we will not even participate in that system. Would you, that would you, be, you see, the problem is this. Let me give you an example in your political party. A governor is seated already. He knows that his capacity to win the next primaries of the party is dependent on how much influence he has on those who will choose. You understand? Mm. So what he ensures no, is some that... People, let me give some, you people not, some people were not... I you learned some people were not allowed to, to obtain form. Yes. But why some people went ahead to obtain the form? You, you some know, people were told not to obtain you form. Know the they problem. went ahead to obtain yes. form. And not in, no, they, I'm not talking about it. I'm form. not talking about it. Uh, uh, obt obtaining, obtaining a nomination form yes. does not translate to... No, that is, that is the first process. Mm -hmm. When you are told not to go, and you dare it, you tell the person that well, this is what you democracy, in a democracy, for instance, and I want to go back to what the point I wanted to make. Yeah. It's not about people's aspiration. It's about those who are going to decide their aspirations. That's why the governor, for instance, would ensure that the delegates, he holds the bulk of the delegates. And these that's delegates are, saying, that's, except we want to start mincing words, they are the ones these that delegates decide. are heavily heavily compromised what are you saying? and i keep saying it look look, I, I, look I let's not be yeah i all political i am very fair to yeah. say this cuts across all political systems it cuts across religious systems it cuts across social systems in associations it cuts it's who we are as a people we are deeply unjust as a people and what bothers rather, me about this is we will rather move the place we are, to peace it's as if we have given up Look, and we mustn't give up. Let me give you an instance. Your, 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 your party is in power. You have the resources of state to ensure, if indeed all of us are going to be sincere to ourselves, that we change the narrative. Nobody wants to be the sacrifice. Nobody wants to be the scapegoat. No governor wants to be the one that will be the sacrifice to change Just Nigeria. Ahead that so revolution. You have the delegates list. Who had the people validly, constitutionally, according to the constitution of the party, allowed the right to choose who is going to be the candidate. The governor wants to go back for a second time. He's, going, he's never going to go under Ogun or Ya or anything to swear that he will be just. He won't even swear in the name of God that he will be just because he knows that he can't. No one of us can be just because your survivor is based on those you put there. And you don't put people, you don't put people that are empowered, that can look you in the face and say no. You don't put them there. You make sure you put let me give you an instance. We go for election. You see the delegates. Yalata, valid. They are members of the party. But you put people that have economic disadvantages. You put people that are old. That have economic disadvantages because they are mostly retirees. And any opportunity to earn a living is always good. You put people that are poor. People that are struggling. Because the leader, and we all talk about democracy. What kind of nonsense democracy is that? The leader is the one that writes the names. Because on the day of the election, it is their leader. The one they submit to, whether it's a pastor, is an imam, is a thief, but, but, is the does, one... Does that mean... Does does that mean it, it is not good. Does, does that mean... It is not good, it's not but good. in a democracy... Does that mean it cannot be challenged? No. Does it mean that people are not challenging look, look, it? Look, look. People are challenging are saying, it. That sir, is the reason sir, why we say, have opposition. Say, with all due, if they have given up on APC, PDP will not participate. With, with all due election. respect to you, sir, yeah. the reason why we can't challenge it it's still the same reason why our forefathers got uh, free education, but the rest of us have to pay for the same education. We are an unjust set of people. Democracy is not bad. Democracy does not promise evil or good. But our own democracy is evil. Because we are not a people but connotatively, as connotatively, I want to believe uh, democracy promises good, How? not evil. How? Uh, government of the people by the people yes. for the people. Will now you let, wish me ask you, let me ask you, sir. A people is defined based on culture, custom, we have, tradition. We have choice sir, wait, either sir. to take what we, is good or bad. And choice. I know that we wouldn't want to take what you, is bad. You, we have a choice. So but, not that democracy mm, does not promise good not, or does not promise sir, bad. Let no. me go back to this. Democracy, so that the uh, audience can understand. Democracy does not say. It says government of the people by the people for the people. Abi. If the people how would you define that no. how would you define government of the people for the people and by the people it is what they call democracy but 
The anchor upon which every democracy rests is the people. My definition, the same democracy, my definition sorry, of the same democracy my, practiced in America. Zadog, Zadog. It's practiced in Australia. It's practiced in Nigeria. In America, is it not better they don't for use them wait, is it not better that for them is where I'm going to yes. in America they don't use stomach infrastructure. Mm -hmm. In Australia, they don't use stomach infrastructure. In Africa, they use stomach infrastructure. Did the Americans sell their people into slavery? No. Did the Australians sell their people into slavery? No. Who sold their people into slavery? Black people in Africa. And I keep saying, we must first of all look at ourselves in the mirror and see that we are a bad people. And then we start saying that we want to be good. Because democracy is practiced everywhere. Yeah, it's it is not working. time everybody will here. look at that okay. way. Over here, if everybody if wants to. If we, if we continue to... Um, <laughs> Hammer on this particular issue, we might not leave here, we might not talk about other things. It's, it's something now, that is the, all pro the All Progressives Congress, yeah. um, which is your party, yeah. would be holding its presidential election, yeah. uh, primary election yeah. on Sunday. Sunday. And even as we speak, one of the front runners uh, in that election is currently in Undo State, yeah. in person of Ashwaju Bola yeah. Ahmed yeah. Tinubu. Yeah. The only candidate. Uh, Okay, <laughs> you said, you said, the he's only, not, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's an aspirant. In a democracy, in a democracy, everybody's supposed but, but to be. But it's not, but it's an aspirant, he's not a candidate. Yeah, aspirant, yes. yeah, yeah. Uh, would decide whether or not, the people mm, really, after Sunday would decide will whether or not, uh, you cannot campaign here. <laughs> That's what I was saying, sir. You, 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 now, let's talk about um, his um, aspiration yeah. and um, the prospects of him becoming the candidate of your party. I know you are not um, the secretary, but you're a member of the party yeah, and you, yeah. you've, you've been following events. Yeah. Just uh, recently, someone in your party, precisely, a state governor, Kayo Defiami, came out to say that money bag politicians would not um, pick the tickets, the presidential ticket in your party. And I uh, just began to wonder who exactly could he be referring to? Who is this money back politician? I, 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 are there, I, 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 how many money back <laughs> politicians are there in APC? Let, I don't know if you can explain let, this. Because, let, me um, quote, uh, let me quote Zadok. Zadok has said it all that the democracy we are we are having in Nigeria now, though I have first said it that this is commercial democracy. And I I said that to I, I tilted that to towards, towards what he said. But let us look at it. Uh Yoruba, Yoruba so if we want to see back pa ukuta and only bara colour e conti bo. If this same man is contesting and it, we, from all indication we know that is the one that unilaterally pick a candidate in Ekiti to succeed himself. And from the look of things in Ekiti today we know how they got their primary it will not lie sweet in the mouth of governor Fayemi to be a judge in his own course he cannot say money bag or no money bag just like what uh, are you saying is also a money bag politician uh, uh, no are you are that the, the money bag is I, I, I have no no i, I have yeah. not mentioned <laughs> fire ashwaju here but what i'm saying is sun and moon is a universal phenomenon as far as the politics of Nigeria is concerned today, mm. just the way we have been saying it. Mm. But not, that does not really mean that that is the best democracy that we are supposed to be practicing now. Thank you. But with what Fayemi said, it shouldn't. It doesn't lie sweet in his mouth to say money back. What is? Is it not? Uh, is, is, is that not what? Is, is that not what they used to practice the democracy that they are even practicing now? Money is part of it. Uh, popularity is part of it. And uh, I don't believe uh, it's justified. If you were asked as a non-partisan um, player yeah. to finger someone or to pick someone within your party, I'm not saying that, I'm just trying to read your mind. Yeah. Of all the aspirants in the APC at the moment, which of them do you think has enough popularity to win the general election? I will not even say the person that has the popularity alone. But I will look at the antecedents. I will paint the scenario of Nigeria. The problems that we are having as far as security is concerned, as far as economy is concerned, and the person who has done what can make him to solve this problem within uh, a little Africa. time. I, I want to believe Who? it's nobody Who? than Bola Ahmed Tinobu. He has he has done it in the past. Okay, let's ask for I'm someone. I'm not campaigning for, let's, for, for him. You can't, you can't even uh -huh. campaign. But let's I am only about, saying let's, it let's, because we have a lot of problems now that requires an urgent attention. And okay. we need an experienced person. 
and people should not bring the sentiment of if you're talking uh, about experience you. before yes, you go on yes. Zado, if you're talking about experience we yes. have other as parents within a party who are equally experienced yes. the vp or shiba Yemi is also experienced he's, yes. he's been in government for in fact he understands the current realities of the nigerian state if you ask me so what what, what you say experience I, I i will call i will you, you said as when i say experience we we, we we need somebody who have the big heart uh, you, you are talking about uh, I don't know if I'm permitted to, to, to begin to uh, just oppose these uh, contestants. Mm. You are talking about the VP. The VP has been in power for seven years mm. and uh, I've seen him like a lame duck as far as uh, the, uh, the position is holding is concerned. There are some things. Politics. You mean the office? Yes, yeah, the office. Okay. Because there are some things that we that is expected of uh, of of uh, a deputy. If you call it, if you, it, it, it's like when they say uh, a spare tire does not have value. When your vehicle has problem in the night, you will know the importance of a spare tire. A spare That's tire true. is vo a VP of a nation and the president. They are voted together in, into the office, mm -hmm. and by that standard, he has the right to challenge whatever. And it's not voted in there only by, for himself alone for his own interest. A lot of demo, uh, a, a lot of uh, uh, qualities were considered. A lot of things were considered before they put him there. Before they, they, they wanted to do it Muslim Muslim ticket, but at the point in time they said no, Nigeria is a secular nation. Now you talking about this Muslim Muslim ticket, Zadok. Yeah. You can't have this president. Kind of and, uh, uh, who, is a, who is a Muslim and uh, a uh, vice uh, president? Uh, who is a Muslim as well? They said the, sense, uh, the religious we, and ethnic yeah. sentiments in yeah. in the polity right now yeah. is um, permit me to use the word crazy. It's yeah. really really uncalled for, yeah. and the question a lot of people might be asking is with the challenges the myriads of challenges nigeria is facing at the moment should we allow these sentiments to take over our sense of reasoning i i think there are few things that define the immorality of our the 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 um lack of lack of um i'm looking for a good word to use that would not be offensive okay. of our democracy in nigeria like ethnicity it also underscores the fact that since and religion and religion since 1960 we have actually been moving away from the nigerian ideal there were far more committed nigerians prior to 1960 than there are post 1960. the civil war has helped to underline our differences tribal differences mm -hmm. and religious differences and so when we play politics i keep saying like my brother and uh, a very gentleman i said uh, when he was mentioning what trying to bring morality back into what we were discussing before as to who he qualifies to be president it's a democracy there is no godfatherism that defines democracy outside of our personal interest and benefits Everybody says nobody must contest because one person is there. Was the country created in the name of that individual or any individual across all political parties? People have a right to contest and people must be given a right to contest. That's why I said before, democracy is not bad. It is the way we play our democracy. What we contribute to the Nigerian democracy is immorality, injustice, inequity, unfairness, personal interest that's what defines our democracy across board from those who are seeking to lead to those who are leading us look i pity those that are elected like i am if i have a hundred million like all these people in apc putting hundred million for ticket if i have a hundred million and i've been farm. working for 20 years you go to your farm now are you I've are, been working, are you zadok's friend on facebook been, we, are, we are friends <laughs> okay everywhere. okay I, I've, I've been friends. i've been working for 20 more than 20 years I have never in those 20 years gathered 10 million together. <laughs> and I'm a honest worker. To now find somebody dropping 100 million. If I have 100 million in Nigeria, I won't contest for council law. You know why? Why? We need a benevolent dictator to correct Nigeria's craziness. Yes. Nigeria has problem across board. This country has been systematically the morality of Nigerian can only thrive in hell. You know why I said that? 
The people complaining that people are thieves are only complaining because their own chiefing has not been exposed. We need a, ben we are hypocrites. Ben a, a, a benevolent uh, uh, dictator. They have dictator. Not the that that sounds like a, con like a country, sharp contrast to me. No, it is. We need that. Look, people keep forgetting that for a nation to develop, there's a period where you develop national culture. It was the ideal of creating a national culture that created organizations like the NOA, like NYC. Because the fathers then realized that we need to begin to build the Nigerian culture. But every system we build in Nigeria is always compromised by nepotism, by injustice, by tribalism, by religion. Because the practitioners that are the Nigerians themselves are intrinsically unjust by nature. We are a self-centered people. We have, not, we have not accepted that first about ourselves so that we can begin to heal our society. People talk about democracy. I've said it here before. Democracy has no morals. Then you are talking about somebody contesting in an election. You are disqualifying a qualified person while qualifying another qualified person. You are having reasons why this person must not contest. Could that be because you, you just said, yes, before, you, before you go ahead, Zadok, you just said a, a few minutes back yeah. that ago that Nigeria needs a benevolent dictator. This individual that you Now, now that means that mm. you it's understand the yes. needs of the Nigerian society. Yes. You have a picture yes. of what kind of leader Nigeria needs at this moment. Yes. It could inform who or who people support or not support. Absolutely valid. Everybody has their rights. But you cannot deny one person in a democracy. That's why look at the primaries we conducted in PDP. There's no aspirant that failed that election that will say that he was unfairly treated. I super, superintended over an election for one particular uh, federal constituency. Nobody in that election will say that it was unfair. How you practice whatever if, you if, do? If, sorry, ma'am. If you ask me, is that Sorry, ma'am. Okay. Sorry, ma'am. Okay. How you practice what you do on the ground, enticing delegates? Nobody has a control over it. I don't have control over the moral value that somebody puts on himself. There's a delegate that can say that, don't mm. pay me anything on honor, I will vote for you, and you will stick by it. It's not the, the responsibility of the own Do we still have such delegates? They are. Sincerely, they are. Mm. There are people like that in this party. I've seen them. I've seen In your operate. party? Yeah. Okay. I've seen it operate where there are people that you won't co go to them. Nobody trying to entice them will go to them with money because they know that he has this is person is going to vote. If you give him money, you know I've been issued that you have lost it because he will collect your money, but he will still vote for. There are people like that, and they don't collect money. But the larger majority, because of the economic situation in the country, mm. it will be unjust for me to tell them don't collect money. Because, for instance, if a poor woman selling a car has been made a delegate and somebody offers her 300, 500,000, would it be fair under God for me to tell her that you can't collect that money when she has a problem that she can't solve? So, you see how vicious the cycle we have put ourselves in. Have That's I, why I, I keep have, saying that we need a benevolent dictator. We can't get a benevolent dictator by voting those who, by deliberate action, created the problem we have. You can only vote who, those who, when they had an opportunity for leadership. I don't want to uh, campaign for anybody, even in my party. I want to be fair to everybody. Whosoever emerges is the one we will vote for. Mm. But there are individuals within the party who, when they had the opportunity to, to handle, we are speaking about Peter Obi, to handle small things, they did well. There are people like Saraki, they did well. There are people like, there are people in my party, Wike is there, Atiku is there. It is the responsibility of the people to choose who they want. If you like, you can choose. If you choose a thief in a democracy and you begin to bring your morals into it, you will be unjust because you are the one that are picked that thief. And you must also, I say this to Nigerians, you must pity those who are elected. There is nobody elected. You say that in the Senate okay. they are collecting too much money. They okay. don't have a choice. Okay, I've, asked, I've had to ask uh, this question before on this program about... Um, the prospect of APC after the Buhari regime. And uh, from happenings within the APC at the moment, especially it as a, lo a lot of aspirants <laughs> jostle for the presidential ticket, and there's this issue of um, rotational presidency, it should be zoned here or, or there. And, and then again, at the state's level, governors wielding too much influence on who becomes who. Do you think that the APC would not be totally torn apart after Buhari leaves office? I I think I support the southern governors who, you know, before this time, southern governors have been saying the next president should come from the south. 
not only APC, even the PDP. And why so the PDP data discarded that um, zoning arrangement? No, they. I think it was recently that uh, they started saying that. But and that is the reason why you see somebody like Wiki and some other governors. They are still urban that it should come at least for fairness. And APC is not even taking it lightly. APC believes it should come to the south. And reason being that uh, sentiment is already on the table of APC. Sentiment of uh, the, the the some school of thoughts who believe uh, it, it it should be uh, democracy the way it's supposed to be. And what when, when you say democracy, it shouldn't just be that okay. It is just for one particular uh, section of the country who just believe that okay they have the number, and some other people don't have the number. But to balance the equation. They believe that it should come to the south. And I want to say it here, emphatically, that if the south does not, a southerner does not emerge as the uh, presidential flag bearer of APC, that may mark the end of APC. I, I am saying... When you say south? South. South is a very, is a no, broad I am, I am, no, I am still going south. somewhere. Okay. I'm still going somewhere. Okay. And, uh, no, I, I, I want to believe anybody I, I have just mm. told you about my preferred candidate but that may not be the candidate that will eventually emerge but if the worst should come to the worst i want to believe a southerner should emerge if a northerner is eventually from what we are hearing even from the confirmation of the uh the the, the chairman of the party that says there could be a consensus. If that consensus candidate... The chairman is, of the party never said that. No, some, I think I read something like no, that. No, just recently, about um, eight hours ago, he, he came out to say... Yeah, he never said it. Okay. Consensus are, method may not work. May not work. President. Good. Okay. Thank God for that. And I think politics or democracy is not just about keeping quiet. It's about when you hear something, you shout. Mm. And that might, you know, stem the tide of whatever our plans of people might be because we have seen a lot of gimmicks intrigues as far as now uh, talking about the gimmicks the gimmicks and the intrigues that, yes. <laughs> that you're so, talking about so. is, is the picture getting clearer now it's about two days uh, to your primary election uh, yes is it, it, getting it, clearer? it is it is I, I am I can't say it is getting clearer because, because we have of, seen a lot of a lot of, of, songs, of a lot of songs, now. A lot of songs when, are changing uh, already when even the man that was acting when the man that was acting as chairman was dead. In fact, we we were we were just at the sea. We didn't know what was happening because the plan of that man himself was different from the plan of the party. So if we can say it is getting clearer as soon as he left the, uh, the, 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 the seat now, but by the time you begin to still look at some people who are saying, good Lord Jonathan, is a member or can be can be fielded you begin to imagine that what type of uh, uh, politics is this that does it do, do we don't we respect our laws again don't we have days that that people can can, can join a party and be and, and contest no, okay, the party is, is that, is you that, that is that feasible we, is is um good luck jonathan we have been, we, when, when we can it's see a uh, excuse uh, me sir excuse uh, me sir uh, when uh, we can uh, see uh, the central bank governor you see, the way it is surprising me, I know it will surprise PDP. It will surprise somebody who are not even even political party members. Mm -hmm. But if we say it's getting clearer now, I wouldn't say it is getting clearer until the primaries are conducted mm -hmm. and we now have our candidates. Yeah. When that is when because do, 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 do you know do you know do you know why I'm saying this? Yeah. Do you know why I'm saying this? Please, mm -hmm. it's simply because we seems to believe that Nigeria is one. Nigeria is not one. Nigeria okay, is not one. You know, you know, you know why? Oh, you know why? Nigeria is not one. In Nigeria, mm. the politics is largely about hypocrisy, and I use the issue of the Nigeria North is not South. one. The APC has an issue now in fielding uh, a southern candidate because electro uh, uh, election wise, the strength is in the north. Any political yes. party that feels a northern candidate will have an advantage in this election. And PDP is desperate. APC knows. We agree. Yeah. We want to win power. Yes, yes. APC understands that 
if they field a southerner and we field a northerner, they are out of power. Most of them would decamp to the PDP. Most of the northern leaders would decamp to the PDP. They understand that. But when it comes to the issue of talking about fairness, please let's put fairness out of these politics. You are saying that between the north and south, justice is that it must come to the south. Fair. If it comes to the south, there will be reasons again adduced as to why it should go to the southwest and not to the southeast. No, then so it, becomes, so sorry, it sir, becomes contestable. Why, no, it, it's not about contest. If the reason for which we are asking the northerners to give it to the south is about justice, then if it is in the south, justice will be that it should go to the southeast. They have never been president in this country. So that's, that's, the that's why I said that, you see, democracy, the way we do it, is likely hypocritic. We bring our morals when it favors us, and we remove morals when it doesn't favor us. I still disagree that that's why if APC feels a southern... Sorry, sir. Eh? Uh, I disagree. Let me, let me complete. I disagree because... Let me complete. I, you you, you, you yeah, have your time. Yeah. Let me complete it because of our time. Now, I think sincerely that Nigeria in 60 years should have evolved to a place where it doesn't matter where you are from. Mm. But in the last... Particularly since the advent of democracy, no, not even since the advent of democracy, since Shagari was removed and you had a Buhari presidency, Nigeria has been polarized. And that polarization is where we are seeing today, where we are no longer brothers. We are Christians and Muslims, Yoruba, Igbo, Aousa, and the rest of it. That same injustice is what we bring into politics. When as it interesting as this conversation it is, we cannot um, exhaust it today. We'll have to continue up until. Um, the general election, I'm sure events will continue to unfold. Yeah. Uh, but as it is now, the presidential primary election in the APC will be on Sunday, Sunday. and that of the PDP would be on... <laughs> I'm not speaking. I'm not giving you. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's led to the national German All right. So uh, we 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 wish all the aspirants um, all the best, and uh, we just hope that the delegates will do right by Nigerians by voting uh, prospective leaders who could solve the problems of the Nigerian state. I want to thank my guests for coming on the show. Zadok Akintori, thank you for coming. We wish the APC farewell on Sunday. <laughs> Uh, come on, don't be petty. Yes, I I come on. Be petty after <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what's your reaction to that? We are, we are taking a cue from them because we know we want them to conduct their own primaries before we do our own. So if they, if they postpone theirs, we will postpone our own. Okay, um, that's a good way to end uh, today's uh, program. Thank you very much for coming by so much. Until next week, Thursday, when we'll be back, I'm Olabi Siolani Thank you for joining us. Good morning.